Hey, what is up team? My name is Sakina and I'm from Uppercut Boxing. Alright, first off, thank you so much Active SG for having us. And for those of you at home, thank you so much for tuning in. We are really excited to be here. Alright, so if this is your first time to Active SG TV program, alright, we have a lot of programs lined up for you, alright, such as the Rise and Shine Morning Show, alright, the Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara as well. So making sure you stay tuned to all these programs that's lined up for you. Alright, so back to me. Today, alright, from Uppercut Boxing itself, alright, I'm going to share with you a boxing program that's going to be about 45 minutes. Alright, so today's program, this is segment one. Segment one goes about like this, alright. First up, we're going to get through your boxing basics, alright. Second, we're going to run through a very quick warm-up. And last one will be your simple boxing combinations. You will need to know these three before we head straight into segment two. Alright, so first off, I'm here to you, alright, sharing with you how to get into your fight stance. Alright, so this is number one, basic boxing rule. You have to know your fight stance before you hit your moves, alright. So if you're a right-hander like me, the stance that you're going to learn right now is called your orthodox stance. So standing shoulder width apart, I'm going to bring my right leg all the way to the back, turning my whole body 45 degree to the right, alright. So imagine there's a person in front of me, my opponent. I'm bladed against my opponent at all times. Staying soft on my knee, hinging at my hip, hand is up, soft clench, chin is down low. A very quick bounce back and forth. This, my friends, is your boxing shuffle. Back and forth. Easy one. Alright? Okay, then we're going to move on to your six basic punches. Now you got to remember these. Alright? First two, those are your jabs and your crosses. Straight punches that go right down to hit your opponent's face. Alright, second, those are your front hook and back hook. Last two, front uppercut, back uppercut. Yeah, you gotta throw some uppercuts because you're here with uppercut. Alright, so starting off, let's go through the jab. Jab, straight punch thrown with your front hand. Alright, so how do you know which is your front? If you look at me right now, one foot is in front, one foot is at the back. So this is naturally now known as my front hand, and this is now known as my back hand. So again, jab, straight punch, palms facing down. You want the knuckles to always hit your opponent, yeah? And then you bring it back to your face. So if I throw the jab, again, eyes up, I extend that hand fully, palm face down, knuckles in, and always bring your hand back to your face, number one. Number two, that is your cross, back hand steady, boom. Aiming straight down as well. First two knuckles in, palm face down, and always bring that head back to your face, all right? Good boxing habits. Okay, punch number three right now, that is your front hook, all right? So on that front hook, boom, 90 degree angle bend in that elbow, and you want your palm to always face you, and you bring your hand back to your face, okay? Punch number four, that is your back hook, all right? So from here itself, extend out, 90 degree angle bend as well, palm face you, and you got to twist your hip in. So again, back hook, bring it back. That is punch number four. Punch number five for today, that is your front uppercut. All right, so here at uppercut, we always split the uppercut into two words, the drop and the drive. All right, so what do I mean? For example, if you look at my side profile, as I drop down, I'm dropping that elbow and that weight towards my front foot, drive aiming my opponent's chin right in front. That is all. And you reset back. One more time. Drop, drive, reset. Last one. Drop, drive, and reset. All right, last but not least, back uppercut, guys. All right, so same thing as well. I'm going to drop my weight and drop that elbow. Boom. I load up that weight, load up that power. Bang, a back uppercut. All right, again, one more time. Drop, my opponent's chin is here. Boom, I stop here and I reset back. Okay, so quick run through again, six punches. Jab, straight punch thrown with front hand. Cross, straight punch thrown with back hand. Front hook, all right, a hook thrown with your front hand. Back hook, back hand. Last two, front uppercut and back uppercut. All right, so try to process this, making sure you get through all these six punches. Right about now, I want you to play your favorite playlist, and we will head straight into your warm-up. Okay, sound good? 
All right, so warm up, easy one. All right, if you've got a pair of water bottle, that would be great. If not, hand weights. All right, here at Apokai, we use hand weights. These are great equipment, all right, nice and light. About one kilo, it is fine, all right, not more than two. You can grab hold of these and start air skipping. All right, so air skips are great because it's a very slight way to get that heart rate up. So at your own pace, about 30 seconds, air skips. So I'm staying light on the balls of my feet and I'm rotating my wrists. So you just want to relax your shoulders and just do what's best for you. Yep, good. So a couple more seconds over here, setting the intention for yourself today. What do you want to achieve at the end of this workout? You want to sweat? You want to learn some boxing? That's what you're here for. <laughs> All right, five more seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. Okay, hand weights down. Now, next 30 seconds, we're going to head straight into bodyweight squats. All right, so feet wide, toes pointing out. Just relax. Send your hips to the back, hands up. Squats. You got 30 seconds. We go in three, two, one. Let's get it. So down and up at your own pace. Now, there's no rush. The warm up does two things. Number one, priming your body for the workout. And number two, just to get your muscles warm. All right, so you're not trying to break such a great sweat here. Just getting yourself easy into this warm up. Beautiful, guys. You got about 15 seconds, air squats. So press your weight in your heels and just go. <laughs> Beautiful. So I'm using my arms, swinging it up and stand up at the same time. Good. Last 10. A little faster. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good. Now, number two, palms on the ground. All right, making sure your palm is directly below your shoulders. And as you're going on, all right, so that you can see me over here in a nice high plank, you want to do shoulder taps, right and left. So this is at your own time. You're just warming up your core and your shoulders, yeah? So about 20 seconds. Now the key is to keep your hips still. Again, you can go at your own pace. Now, if this is too difficult, don't worry guys, you can always go on your knees and tap it out. All right, so for the extra challenge, for you champs, go on your toes. <laughs> All right, last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, now standing up, move number three, backward stepping lunges. All right, so making sure you take a long step back, step back, reset, step back, reset. So I like to use my arms to swing my weight up, step back, back knee down, front thigh always parallel to the ground, boom, squeeze your butt at the top, yeah? So again, 30 seconds to go at your own pace, no rush. All right, so don't worry, the workout will get progressively more exciting. All right, so stay in the game, stay in the game. Beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Last one, one of my favorites, push-ups. All right, so on this one, you're gonna go down on the ground again. Palms outside your shoulders in a nice high plank. All right, you're gonna go down, chest at elbow height, and press your weight off. So you've got 20 seconds. This is option one. Option two, on your knees, toes on the ground. Bring your chest to the ground and exhale as you press up. All right, so choose your option. 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go. Beautiful. So you're warming up your upper body. Again, at your own pace. Now you decide the intention you wanna go at. All right, so every time you press up, exhale, go down, inhale. All right, your breath is gonna help you lead you through this workout. Last five, four, three, two, 
and time. All right, simple basic movements for a warm up, yeah? Easy. Okay, so this is when it gets exciting. Now, we're gonna get hard in that boxing element. All right, so first one, we keep it simple. Two punches only, that is your jab and your cross. All right, so I'm gonna stand right over here. As you can tell, hand is up, chin is down low. I'm always gonna imagine my opponent is in front. Two punches, you can try it with me. All right, jab and cross. Now this is just easy one, 45 seconds on. I want you to go at your own pace. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Your one and two, that is all, all right? Straight down, all right? Imagine there is that face in front. You're always aiming that face and you're bringing your hand back to your face, all right? So making sure your punches are sharp and short. One, two, bring it back. One, two, bring it back. Jab and cross. Fully extended arm. Lock that elbow, making sure your shoulder nice and high, protect that guard, bring it back. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good, you got about 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds. So if you can right about now, try to add in some speed. Simple boxing combinations to get you started in this workout, yeah? That's the one. So nice and sharp, always turning that back foot in on that cross. Turning that front foot in to add in that power, bring it back. Yep. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right. Next one, your front hook and your back hook. Two punches as well. All right. So from my face itself, extend out, front hook, extend out, back hook. All right. So same thing, that face is in front. Your jab and your cross lands here. Your front hook and your back hook has to end at the same spot. So imagine there is that face. You're aiming the side of your opponent's face. All right, so on me, 45 seconds. Hooks in three, two, one, let's go. All right, so you wanna get that good form. You wanna get the intention in every time you're hitting those punches. All right, that's gonna help you get that good form and that good workout in. Beautiful. So, on that front hook, just a form check. Front side of my body, always turn in. Boom, all at the same time, bring it back. All right, and on that back hook, the whole back side of my body, turn in, and I reset. So again, boom, reset, boom, reset. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but every time I'm punching, I'm letting out my fight noise. So what is your fight noise? Exhale, all right, and sooner or later you're gonna find it. Boom, boom, boom. That's the one, that's the one. A couple more, a couple more. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, last two. Those are your front uppercuts and back uppercuts. All right, personally, these two punches are my favorites. All right, so here we go. Your front uppercut, back uppercut. You can go slow first and slowly you progress. All right, so uppercut, uppercut, and then you reset back. All right, so what I like to do, or what most boxers like to do is boxing shuffle, all right? So when you're not punching, get in that shuffle, and when you're ready, boom, boom, and then you reset back. Bring your hands up, guard is always up. All right, again, uppercut, uppercut, reset. Aiming that chin, uppercut, uppercut, reset. One more time, boom, boom, so that you can see me a little better. Uppercut, uppercut, reset. All right, so add in that bounce, shake it off whenever you're ready. Uppercut, uppercut, and then you go again. All right. Yeah, I'm probably the only boxer that smiles, yeah? But I wanna see your game face on, guys. So game face on, people. Yep, you're in it to win it, yeah? Using your bicep, using that power, load up, boom, and you bring it back to your face. You got a couple more of these, team. Yep. Last five, four, three, two, time. Rest. Okay. The last bit, all right, I'm going to give you some simple boxing combinations and we are going to work it together. So you got three punches right now. Simple one. All right. One of my favorites as well, the double jab and a cross. All right. You got it? One more time. Double jab, one hard cross. Whenever you're ready, hands up. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Double jab, cross. So you want to keep your elbows tucked in. Forearms forming the number 11. Hands up. Ba, ba, ha. Let it out. Remember, it's all about the exhale. All right, so again, double jab, boom. Twist and bring your hand back to your face. Keep it snappy. All right, that's where the power is at. One, one, two, bring it back. All right, hand is up. As you're moving around, imagine there's someone in front. All right, so you're trying to move around, avoiding the opponent. All right, so you always got to visualize. If you can, add in the element. It's good for you. Beautiful. Yep. A couple more, guys. Last three, two, and time. All right, shall we do one more? All right, three punches as well. Jab, cross, front uppercut. One of my favorites as well. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready, hands up in three, two, one, let's get it. Jab, cross, boom, a short uppercut to the chin. All right, again, one more time. Jab, cross, a power front uppercut. Boom, 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 reset. Jab, cross, up. One, two, up. Jab, cross, up. Yep, so keep it short, keep it sharp, and then you bring your hand back to your face. You got a couple more of these. Last five, four, get it team. Three, two, last one, bam, time. All right, so we've come to the end of your segment one. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, making sure you have your water bottle as well as your weights because you will need it for segment two. See you guys in a bit. Hey, what's up team? Welcome back. All right, so here is segment two. Like I said before, if you already have your hand weights, that would be great. All right, for today, I've got a pair of water bottles as well as hand weights. They look just like these. All right, so I'll be using this throughout my entire workout for now. So this segment, all right, ladies and gentlemen out there, this is called train like a boxer. So what does this mean? All right, in a boxing match, it usually goes like this. A boxer works for three rounds, three minutes of work, and one minute of rest. But here today, we're gonna do an active rest, all right? So during that active rest, you'll be doing something. So three minutes, I'm gonna give you a specific boxing combination that's gonna work through something I call slips. All right, so if you've caught this morning's program where Sam from Uppercut Boxing actually went through some slips, all right, I'm gonna run through a simple one right now. All right, so in my fight stance, two types of slips for today. That is your front slip and your back slip. All right, so slip number one, back slip. Hand is up, chin is down. All right, this is your back slip. I'm turning the entire front side of my body away. Boom, I'm avoiding that punch and I reset back. All right, again, back slip, reset. Okay, next one, front slip. Hand is up as well, turning the entire back side of my body. Boom, this is my Front slip. All right, so again, two types. Back slip, turning that front foot in. Front slip, that is all. All right, so right about now, I'm gonna teach you combination number one that's gonna involve that back slip. All right, so I just want you to remember the slip does two things. One, it is a defense movement that is used to avoid a punch 
that's coming right down the middle. And number two, all right, when you defend, you got to counter. All right, so when you slip, I want you to feel that weight shift. All right, don't worry, I'll be here with you. I'm going to guide you through it every step. All right, so combination number one, we're going to kick off right now. This is your combination. 60 seconds on, jab, cross, back slip, back up a cut, front hook. Got it? Okay, one more time. Jab, cross, back slip, weight is in my back foot, back up, front hook. 60 seconds on. Whenever you're ready, hands up. Three, two, one, let's go. Jab, cross, slip, uppercut, hook. All right, I'm going to go in at okay pace so that you can follow me. And whenever you're ready to pick it up, we pick it up, yeah? So again, jab, cross, back slip, weight is in my back foot, a back up, and one front hook. One more time, jab, cross, back slip, back up, front hook. All right, so right about now, let's start to pick it up. Jab, cross, back slip, back up, front hook. One, two, slip, up, hook. Again, one, two, slip, uppercut, hook. Last few. Yep, so get that rhythm in, feel that weight shift front and back, and once you're rolling, just ride with it. Boom, boom. <laughs> yep, killing it guys. All right, it's just you and your zone at home. All right, so take it at your own pace, don't worry. Last few. Three, two, and time. All right, now, this is my speed round. So 30 seconds on, hands up. We're going to go for speed straight punches. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. All right, so time to lift the heart rate up. After all that easy shadow boxing, yeah? We're here for a workout anyway. So extend that arm fully. All right, you keep going and keep your eyes up. As you extend, you want to bring your hand back to your face at all times. All right, and if you can, use your feet and paddle it up. That's going to help you get a little faster. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, now this is where the real fun begins. You're going to pick up your hand weights or your water bottle. We're going to practice the same combination now using the weights. So quick recap again. Jab, cross, back slip, back up, front hook. When you're ready, hands up. We go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, slip, boom, boom. All right, and then you move around. You keep going because you've got 45 seconds to go. Bam, boom. So how many reps can you get in at about now? Jab, cross, back slip, back up, front hook. Go again, go again. Yep. So try to get in as little breaks as you can in between each combination. With the hand weights, I know there's resistance, but don't worry, that's going to help you get that nice sexy shoulder, yeah? So extend all the way. Extend it. <laughs> don't drop those hands. Couple more, team, a couple more. Beautiful. Last 10. Last 10. Get it. Good. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Time. All right. Bam. Now, hand weights time. Still on. This time, speed straight punches again. They ain't running anywhere. All right. Whenever you're ready, 30 seconds on in three. Two, one, let's go. Boom. I know they're heavy. All right, this one I'm doing it with you, yeah? So let's go. All right, I'm going to calm you down so you don't stop till I tell you to stop. Let's go. Couple more, couple more. You got it. All right, if you want to, close your eyes and just ride through it. Extend those arms. Keep your elbows in. If you can, paddle your feet or add in high knees. This is your workout. Yep. Last five, four, three. I didn't say two. <laughs> One, time. All right, hand weights down. Great job. Okay, so that was round one. Now, moving on to your second segment, which is front slip time. All right, so just now all we did was back slip. Now we're gonna do some front slip combinations. So take a breather. Towel or water if you need to. I'm going to explain your next combination, all right? So, hands are up, all right? 
everything still remains. Now, combination today will be a jab, slip to the front, front hook, cross. Okay? One more time. Jab, straight down, I slip to the front, weight is in my front foot, come in, a front hook, boom, and in with one hard cross. One more time, slow. Jab, slip, a front hook, cross. All right, so you got 60 seconds again. Whenever you're ready to go, we go in three, two, one, let's go. Jab, slip, hook, cross. Easy one, yeah? Jab, slip, hook, cross. So again, you keep going, just keep your ears out. All right, on that jab, you're gonna set up, all right, as you slip, avoid that punch coming with a hook and a cross. All right, again, jab, slip, weight is in your front foot, a hook and a cross, all aiming that same spot. All right, so if you've got a spot in the wall, just aim that spot, yeah? Jab, slip, boom, boom. One more time, jab, slip, hook, cross. All right, a lot of people always think that boxing is all about that hand, but if you look at my lower body, I'm always turning my lower body in. All right, so that's what you want to achieve as well. Get that full workout in. All right, whenever you're ready, jab, slip, hook, cross. Jab, slip, hook, cross. Again, jab, slip, hook, cross. Couple more. All right, ease yourself into it. Yep. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, now you know what's up. All right, this is speed round two. All right, so instead of your speed straight punches, this time round, speed up cuts. All right, also known as shoe shine. Whenever you're ready, in three, two, one, you join me, yeah? So you go nice and slow first. All right, I know we're going for speed, but get familiar with the movement. All right, some people on set joining me. Let's get it. <laughs> speed up cuts, run it out. All right, so if you can, the key is to roll your shoulders and paddle your feet. All right, easy one, yeah? <laughs> All right, if you haven't already seen a lot of TikTok top challenges are using this, so get on it, get on it. Last five, four, three, two, boom, time. All right, hand weight time, you know what's up. Okay, so if you got your hand weights again, use them. All right, next one, a short one with your hand weights, combination again, jab, Front slip, front hook, cross. Okay, when you're ready, hand raise up. Three, two, one, let's go. Jab, slip, hook, cross. Jab, slip, hook, cross. So again, on your hook, elbows high, shoulder high, bring that hand back, throw that cross. Always think about that weight shift. All right, that's gonna help you get that power in. Again, jab, slip, hook, Cross, jab, slip, hook, cross. Beautiful. Aiming that same spot, aiming that spot on that wall. All right, if you're listening to your favorite playlist, let that music ride you through this rhythm. Keep on going, everybody. All right, you're learning something, but you also remember to have fun, yeah? Couple more, couple more. That's the one. Last. Few seconds. You got about 10 seconds. Where are you at? That's the one. Last five, four, three, two, boom, time. Okay, now, hand weights up, shoe shine time, speed up a cuts. 30 seconds on, are you ready? All right, take a deep breath in. This is a tough one, yeah? In three, two, one, go. So if you've got someone standing beside you, go a little faster than them. Make this a challenge. Go. All right, if not, this challenge is just with you. <laughs> oh, with me. Let's get it. Get it. With those weights, roll your shoulders. Couple more. Five, four, three, two, one and a half, one and one quarter, half. <laughs> Time! All right. Great job, guys. All right, so that was segment two. All right, I want to catch a quick breather first before we head straight into the next one. All right, so on the next one, this is what's going to happen. We're going to take a break from boxing for a while and we're going to head straight 
into some body weight workouts. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit, yeah? Cheers. Hey, what is up guys? Alright, my name is Takina and I'm from Uppercut Boxing. Alright, so welcome back to segment 3. So segment 3 is basically where I'm going to run through with you a couple of bodyweight rounds. Alright, so first up, we have something called endurance, where we're going to work on your lower body and your upper body. Second, there's something I'm going to do with you, which is called your core round, because you can't neglect those abs. And then next, we're going to do something I call flow and work. And after which, we're just going to cool it off and we're done for the day. Alright? Okay. So, before we kick off, I'm going to explain what endurance is for today. This is what's going to happen. Alright? Each workout will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Okay? You have four. So, the first four will be focused on your lower body. The second four will be focused on upper body. Okay? So I'm going to head straight into it. All right, this is exercise number one, 45 seconds on, side step squat. So as I step out, sink your hips down, chest up, lift it up, bring it back. That was to my right. Now left, side step, bring it back. Again, one more time. Right, bring it back. Left, bring it back. All right, whenever you're ready, in three, two, one, let's go. So side step. So easy. This is just some body weight workout. All right, sending your hips to the back. Something like your warm-up. It's a squat, but you're just adding a variation. Stepping to the side, opening up the inner thigh. Send your hips to the back, chest up. Yep. So keep going, because we're doing as many reps as you can until I tell you to stop. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, good. Next one, backward stepping lunges. Alright, option over here, number one, step back, reset, option number two, you can add in a jump. Alright, so you choose your option and we head straight into it in three, two, one, let's go. So we go easy, you want to drop the back knee down and you always want to keep your front thigh parallel to the ground. As you come up, push your weight off your back foot, squeeze your butt at the top. Now you want to get that range in before you go for that speed. Alright, so if you find yourself Leaning forward, lean back, loft your lower abs, and then you go again. Yep, good. Now you got a couple more of these. You can either relax your arms or keep your arms up <laughs> because you're a fighter, right? So hands up, chin is down, yeah, all times. You got a couple more. Work till the bell, work till my countdown. Beautiful. Last three, two, and time. All right, next one, to pump up the cardio a bit, we're gonna do something called skaters. So skaters look like this. As I jump side to side. All right, whenever you're ready, three, 
two, one, let's go. So as you're going, just keep your eyes out. I step, catch the weight on my front foot, and I bring my back foot behind. So again, a slight bend in the knee, chest up, and you go. So every time you're jumping side to side, I want you to imagine there is a marker. You're reaching for that marker. So reach a little more. Reach, reach. All right, to the end of the screen. To the end of the screen. <laughs> yep, beautiful. Couple more, couple more. 15 seconds to go. Keep on going. So I'm using my arms. Swing. All right, as I feel my body weight shift. This time, across the room. Across. Last five. Four, three, two, and time. All right, one last one for you, 45 seconds. This is how it's gonna go, all right? So option one, a slight jog. Option two, high knee run. All right, 30 seconds only. Three, two, one, go. So time to lift the heart rate up. Time to start to stand up for your workout. Drive, every time you drive, I wanna see the crisp knee pop right through that chest. All right, so if you want to, place your hands in front, making sure you're hitting them. If not, swing your arms, lean forward, sprint. Keep going. Last five, four, three, two, time. Rest. Okay, great job. Now, 15 seconds recover, towel or water if you need to. I'm gonna explain endurance set two. All right, so this time around, working the upper body, okay? So a similar concept, just like your leg side step. Now, we're gonna run through a side step push up. All right, so again, palms wide, on your toes, on your knees, up to you, all right? So as you go, I want you to walk right leg, right hand, open, close, open, close. All right, so if you're on your toes, just open and close your hands, open, Close, open, close. All right, whenever you're ready, in three, two, one, let's go. So the key, open up, elbows wide, bend down 90 degree, chest down, exhale at the top. All right, that's where the key is at. Again, down, exhale, bring it back. Open, whew. Yep, you gotta exhale, all right, that's where the fitness happens. It's all about in the breath. Beautiful, guys. Couple more. Three, two, and time. All right, good. Easy one. We're still gonna stay in that high plank. Now, just like that warm up, all right, instead of shoulder taps, now you're gonna tap something in front, all right? So imagine there's that bottle or whatever that's in front of you, just tap in front. So you're building up that shoulder endurance, a lot of which is needed in boxing. Yep. All right, so you don't get a boxer's body by just boxing, yeah? This is where the fitness part comes in. Couple more. Beautiful, hip square, just light taps. Don't think about it. Just right through it. Last five, three, two, one, Time. Okay, good. Now, all right, we're still gonna work on the upper body again. I'm so sorry. All right, if you're cursing and swearing, all right, after this, you can eat something real good for your dinner. All right, so this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get down in the high plank again. All right, this is what I call a double pulse push up. All right, so on your, no on your toes or on your knees, up to you. Palms outside your shoulders. Push, push, lift. Push, push, lift. Three. Two, one, let's go. All right, 45 seconds as well. You can go at your own pace. If you wanna add in more pulses, up to you guys. All right, you can add in more pulses, just go. So the pulse, try to keep it small and minimal as you're going chest down. So a lot of times people do this. What you wanna do is bring your chest down rather than your forehead. All right, so lock your tailbone, send everything to the front. Yep. Couple more, guys. Last three, two, and time. 
All right. One more, yeah? One more, shall we? Okay. We're going to hit the ground again. This time round, back in the warm up, shoulder taps. 45 seconds. Ready. Stabilize that core, stabilize that shoulder. Three, two, one, go. So just tap it out. Again, think about what you're working. Get that shoulder endurance in and go. So again, option, come down on your knees. All right, you're still working at the same intensity. Good. Hip square. Lock your tailbone. And just reach opposite shoulder. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay. Up on your feet. Towel water if you need to. All right. Now we're going to hit the fun stuff. Core time. All right. So on my core round, three minutes of work. Each exercise will be 30 seconds long. All right. So first one, whenever you're ready, we join me on the ground as well. All right. I'm going to start off easy. So lie down. Legs up. 90 degree. Crunches. Classic. All right, whenever you're ready, three, two, one, let's go. So what you want to do is hands behind your head or off. I'll leave it up to you, but always keep your abs tight and reach up. Feel the tension, then you go back down. All right? So as you're going, making sure you relax your neck. All right, try not to tense up too much. Relax, look up if you have to, and lift not through that chest, but through that ab. So lift through that ab. Beautiful. You got a couple more. All right, so this is the time that you should be smiling. All right, reach. Couple more, team. You know how it goes. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Rest. All right, next one, easy one. All right, so again, you're gonna lie back down hands away from your bum or below your bum all right those are your options if you want it to be easy hands below your bum if you want it to be harder hands away all right whatever it is flutter kicks all right so this one you're working your entire core lower abs as well all right let's go couple more yep so the key is to lock your tailbone in all right if your hands are behind try not to lift your bum up too much, all right? Bring it down as you flutter. All right, again, relax your neck. Great job. All right, I like to point my toes so that I flex my quads as well. I'm not just working my abs, I'm working my entire body. Beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Rest. Okay, next one, one of my favorites. We're going to get into an elbow plank. All right, so eyes up. All right, back in that plank position. This time, elbows down. All right, protract your back towards the ceiling. And you want to dip your hips right and left. That is all. So work the oblique. Hips down. And just dip. So even if the dips are small, it is fine. Go at your own pace. Couple more, team. All right, on this ab round, you want to build up that ab endurance. All right, so when you keep going, that's when the real change is going to happen. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Rest. All right, I have one more for you that is called a slow climb. So a slow climb is like a regular mountain climber but we're not aiming for speed, we're just aiming for that control. All right, so whenever you're ready, last 30. Three, two, one, let's go. Slow climb, what you wanna know is that your knee has to come right through that chest. All right, so lean forward, drive that knee, and reset, drive, reset. So get that crunch in. All right, all about that breath. Keep your abs tight and exhale. We got a couple more. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Rest. All right, guys, stand up. 
All right, one more round before we call it a day. All right, your last three minutes, this is how it's gonna go. This is how we always end off at uppercut. And I'm gonna bring that same element to you guys right at home. All right, so this is called flow and work. All right, so in this segment, I'm gonna call out flow, command number one. Flow basically means freestyle any punch you like. You can go at your own steady pace. All right, so no rush, no speed, no power, steady. Any punch you like, freestyle. All right, let me see your favorite combinations. Two, that is work. All right, so on that work, I want you to get aggressive. Boom, 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 boom. Take it out. Any punch you like, short burst. All right? When we're ready, last and final minutes, guys. Hands up, we start with flow first. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, so on that flow, I'm gonna move around aloud, and I hope you're moving around with me, all right? Keep your punches short and sharp. Move your head. Move your feet as well. Get in that boxer bounce. Step around. Boom. Double jab. Boom. Move. All right. Nice and light. You got about five seconds before we hit that work. All right. In three, two, one. Let's go. Everything you got, your favorite boxing combination. Let's go. Let me see it. All right. So you want to move your head. Do whatever that works best for you. I just want to see you gas out, man. That's the one. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, time, rest. All right, if you've emptied your tank, build it back up again. Set two, final set before we call it a day. All right, team, 10 seconds recover. We're gonna go straight into that flow. All right, whenever you're ready, hands up. Three, two, one, go. Flow, nice and light. All right, so you can use this time to think what combination itself you want to throw for today. All right, so I like to throw this jab, slip, hook, cross, of which I taught you before. So you can throw it as well. Boom, boom. All right, I love slips. I love my weaves. All right, for those of you at home who have already boxed before, let me see some head movement, man. Yeah, you gotta train like a boxer, yeah? Good. Beautiful. Couple more. Use this time effectively, because later on we're gonna bring up the heat. All right, this is just your preheat. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, get aggressive. Everything you have. This is your last few seconds in this room, in front of the screen, in this segment. Let's go. Everything you got. All right, throw out your favorite punches. But, but, but. Good. All right, I'm working as hard as you. I'm with you. A couple more. Let me see that knockout punch. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two. Time! Boom! Alright! Great job, guys. Alright, shake it off. We're gonna go for a very quick cool down. Alright, so awesome work. Just a quick recap. We did some boxing fundamentals. We went straight into your slips combination. Did some body weight work. And then, now we're gonna end off with a quick cool down. Alright, so whenever, wherever you are at, place your bums down. Alright, just lie back down. Sit down if you want to. All right, clear some space. All right, bring your feet together. Together, we're gonna go for one deep inhale, all the way to the top. Exhale and reach. That is all. So on this one, you wanna feel your hamstrings, your back, your lats. And if you can, get your head to touch your knees. I know I can for now. Last five. Four, three, two, and release. All right, same leg now fold, forming that number four. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, so this one, you want to feel it on your left hamstring and your right outer glutes, yeah? Take a couple of seconds for yourself. Five, four, three, two, and release. All right, onto the other side. Left leg up, inhale, exhale. 
Right, you know the drill. All right, if you want to do your own cool down, that is fine as well. You know your body best, so do what's most comfortable for you, yeah? Last five, four, three, two, and release. All right, so next one, just get into a downward dog. We've got last few in the house. Paddle your calves out right and left. Send your hips all the way up to the ceiling. Pressing your weight in your palms. And just relax. Hard part is over, team. Easy stuff now. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, you're gonna crawl your hands towards your feet. So your body side to side. All right, shake it off, roll your shoulders out. Right and left, reverse. Beautiful. All right, last three, two, and time. All right, guys, thank you so much, Active SG, for having us. And for those of you at home, thank you so much for surviving today's workout. I hope I managed to share with you more on what a boxer trains like, and I hope you had a great workout as well. All right, other than that, I hope to see you guys real soon. Cheers, guys. Thank you.